Hi guys, welcome back. Um, welcome to the new Bakra session. And um, our starting bankroll is $2,536. All right, so basically we're gonna be uh, playing the same strategy. Um, uh, I have to warn you guys, it's going to be a boring session because we have to wait for the triggers. We have to apply money management. We have to apply risk management. We have to completely check our mindset constantly. A um, couple of things, um, you know, as you are growing your bankroll, your um, rate of satisfaction goes down per unit of reward as you are gaining momentum. So basically, you know, to um, to solve that problem, you really have to, you know, stick to one to two percent uh, betting most of the time. And uh, only at the time of VB bet, you can escalate the bet, okay? So this can solve the problem for, um, for what do you call that? Uh, uh, to solve the problem of diminishing uh, marginal return due to diminishing satisfaction as your bankroll grows. Okay, so we're gonna start uh, a new session now. So there we go. So no matter what, you need to stick to two, one to two percent, and marginally you could increase the bed as the, but not quite often. I mean, the, the whole point is uh, to reduce the uh, large bed size when it's needed. As they say, save the best for last. So we're not going to do much thinking, much uh, speculation. Uh, we're not going to be led by curiosity. We're just going to follow the strategy and that's it. Very mechanical. And when, whenever we have two errors, uh, we will look for a good opportunity to escalate the bet size. So we'll, we'll, we'll keep it standard. All right. So we don't want a lot of volatility in our uh, bankroll and cash flow. So currently there are no triggers. The pattern is mainly N2. Um, it can be N3, N2. So but the dominant pattern is N2. Okay? So I would say, uh, let's just stick to the dominant pattern, which is N2 in this case. So which leads us to the uh, trigger, but we don't have a beat or trigger, a small one on the player, because we don't have a trigger on the beat road. Okay, we lost that. Now, could it be the uh, N3 in this case? So we're going to bet a little bit higher on the player. So that's N3. So this is mainly N2, N3. Nope, well, we didn't get that either. All right, so um, it could be that we are heading towards the middle of the shoe. What's going on here? Um, glad that we didn't go for Bakara attack strategy. All right, so in this case, uh, let's just wait it out, and then uh, we might as well just put um, ties and pairs bed because you're waiting for the second sequence to show up. Hmm. Streak. It's a streak. Okay, now we're just going to pause a bit and see what's going on. Yeah, very tricky shoe though. So we need to be aware that the shoes can be very, very tricky 
strategy you sometimes doesn't really, you know, uh, perform as expected. So in this case, the, um, there are no triggers in the beat order as well. So let's just wait a couple of more outcomes. No, this, you know, there are no, so when you have like banker, banker, player, player, banker, banker on the bead road, um, it gives a signal not to bet at all. So even I'm tempted to bet on the player here, but because of uh, this uh, bad signal on a bead road, I'm not going to bet on the player. Ladies and gentlemen, pay for player to her bank, sample troll. There we go. Even if you see the cards out, uh, you know, the, the cards layout is kind of a uh, very bad uh, shuffle. I mean, it's against the player. It's more, more uh, favoring the house, the way numbers are coming out. So this is more like a majority banker shoe, okay? So banker is dominant, so let's just go with that, see how it performs. It's uh, mainly majority banker. Nice. We got the pair and the banker. All right. The player signed a beautiful pack. Congratulations to five compliments to you. I think it's still going to be a banker here. It's insane. What's wrong in the world, Banker Vance? So, number one uh, a given factor is that, you know, Banker is dominant in the shoe. That's something you need to be aware of. We'll keep betting on the Banker in this case. So let's see from Banker win for 10. Number six. Three lights in cards, five of spades, eight ox. I wish you good luck. Uh, Two times, all right. Give it to us. Oh, no. Oh, we got it. We got it. We got it. And it's the two times. Nice. Right. So, yeah, so it's a majority banker shoot. We'll keep betting on the banker. Ladies and gentlemen, the last. The last thing from banker wins spot time. No, we're back to this one. We have four last thing I wish you good luck. One for player, three for bank, extra card for player, extra card from bank. Ladies and gentlemen, it's all with one. Congratulations, all five special compliments to you. Let's in time. <clears throat> Welcome to my list, nice to see you. How are you today? How are you feeling? Number one. Three nine of five, king of spades, three of clubs, five spin spin, ten of clubs, eight of clubs. I wish you good luck. So, what? Uh, lighting cards of five sets. Macro for player and four for bank. Extra card for player. You got it. Extra card for bank. And it's a tie, alright. Ten of spin spin, congratulations, of five compliments to you. So, um, hmm. 
Okay, so I'm going to pause now because usually when there's a tie, you need to pause a bit because there are some changes in the trend. It shifts gear. Yeah. So um, that's a three series. All right, cool. Now we need to wait for the next sequence, but the problem with the next sequence is that we have a lot of ties, so uh, we're going to have less triggers, it's fine, which means that we're going to be bidding low, so we're not going to be bidding high in the next sequence, all right? That's why we call it, this is a boring strategy, but, you know, uh, uh, rate of return is very high and it's very efficient. And we're calculating return per shoe, guys, not uh, return per, like, one, unit, one win per shoe or... Um, uh, percentage of the win rate per hour it's not like that it's really per shoe um, that will make you more organized so currently our this shoe has is yielding around uh, close to two two and a half percent which is good enough okay so we don't have to get too greedy out of this shoe because you can't expect to make a lot of money like oh like you know you cannot double up your capital in one single shoe a shoe can give you 2%, 3%, sometimes 10% when there is a good winning streak. Uh, but in, uh, in a, on average, it's going to give you 2 to 3% if the shoe is really terrible, if you apply the strategy. So that's the expectations we are running right now. Betting time. Betting time. All right. So do we have a trigger? Maybe a banker. So uh, the pattern, the dominant pattern here is uh, N2, right? Yeah, okay. Well, we missed that one, fine. So let's hope this is the banker so we can go for N2 bet. Mm, I don't think so. It's N2 and 3, so it's not N1. So we can't bet on the banker in this case. All right, let's go for the ties and pairs at the moment. So we don't have any triggers because of these two ties. So what we're going to do now, um, just wait it out, there's nothing else we can do. Let's go for another pairs and ties. I wish you good luck. Ladies and gentlemen, one for player, back up from bank and jump the drum. Bank of mm. eight over five. So That's as you say, it's N2, right? Okay, so now there's an N2 bet, and there's no confirmation here, so minimum bet. Yeah, I think we're heading towards the middle of the shoe. We got to be careful. It's um, in the middle of the shoe. There is a lot more volatility, so we got to be aware of that. Okay, as I expected. I mean, you know, there's a lot of tides, and uh, it wasn't really giving us a, a good triggers. We were placing small bets. So we're not going to even even chase these losses, all right? This is something that you, you are probably observing, that why am I not chasing losses? Because chasing losses is not part of our strategy. You can't chase losses. You cannot martingale. You can you can only go for VB bet once you get two errors. In our case, I think we already did two, two errors. So let's go for VB bet. For VB bet, you need a very, very strong and accurate uh, trigger. Mm -hmm. 
Sound for Bla and Six from Bang. Bla wins seven over six. Congratulations, or five special. Okay. So here we go. Um, this could be a player here, and this is a confirmation on the bead roll, but it's not a good one. But we will go for again, you know, not a very too high, you know, big bet. I mean, just a medium size. Uh, three, three, plus this is a confirmation here. So let's see how it works out. Yeah, we got it. All right, cool. Oh, there's a box here. There's a player here. Uh, this is N3. Again, no co contradiction in the confirmation. If there's a contradiction confirmation. Basically, you need to go minimum bet on the N series bet. Yep. Now, no signal. These pairs and tie, tie bets are eating up our, uh, our bankroll. But it's just a matter of one huge win it can really make it up. Big time. All right, now this is, there's a series here, three series banker and a banker. All right, so there is a good strong trigger here on three series. So let's go for it. It's on the banker. Okay, that's a VB bet. That's how we get this. Nice, four multipliers. Come on, come on, give it to us. No, not on this one. Shit. Um, the three series is not working anymore. Wait, it worked here though. All right, so uh, player, player. Okay, very strong confirmation, guys. Very, very strong confirmation, player. I'm going for it. I can't chicken out on this one. Can't check it out on this one. The L shape. The L shape of the player and N3. Yeah, could work out. All right. Three times. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Five. Come on. Oh, yes, baby. Yes. 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 $1,700. Damn. Well, how do we get? Oh my God! Look at the balance, three thousand five hundred dollar. Damn good. Wow. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Okay, now we're just gonna chill out. I mean, we're just gonna ride this out, grinding. You know, with Italian coffee, espresso. Okay, we just grind it out, and that's it. I mean, after a big win, guys. You have to just tell yourself you're going to be losing. Okay, that's it. It's a fact. You're going to lose after you win big. Therefore, do not bet big. It's very simple. It's math. You just have to grind it out or quit. So we're going to just grind it out because it's too early to quit, right? So we're just going to grind it out, all right? And test the strategy. I'm going to pause here. I'm going to make a coffee and celebrate and come back. Cheers. I guess I'm back. Okay, I got myself uh, a nice coffee. And um, let's see what this shoe is all about. As I said, um, uh, we're going to just chill out now. So we made a $1,700 profit. And that's more than enough, to be honest. We could just quit it here. But we're going to just grind it and see if there is an opportunity. Can it present itself or not? And we'll take it from there. Five for the play, Golden Girls and players. Ten, two for the bank. Double draw. Thomas five is multiplied speed to next complex to this thing for playing Ash to you for a yeah, don't worry, thank you for this transfer. Place your best, good luck, I wish you all the best. Two times center with lighting grant.
thank you by some time is over this turn king of paris one king of uh clubs jack and king of diamonds good luck <coughs> three for the player black red for the bank gold and grace and bank with some down and down play wins for over one compasses thank you for playing you are speaking a yes on winners thank you so much boys your best good luck i wish you all the best down is yours Final seconds. Thank you, Beds and Tom Mazur, for this one. So far, it's eight and eight of spades, five and seven of clubs. Good luck. Three for the player, eight for the bank, gold and grace and bank, and two gold and grace and bank. So, bank with these are pretty small spice for X compasses. Thank you for playing DD for you. B5, yeah, Tom Winners, thank you so much. Please play so best, we wish you all the best. Good luck to you. We will start very soon, final seconds. <coughs> thank you, bets are close for this one's 8 and 10 of hearts, 3 and 8 of spades, and 2 of clubs. Good luck. 4 for the player, 2 for the bank, golden grace and bank, grace and double drum. Play with four over one compass in a sink for playing two Riku four of your top winners. Thank you so much. Place your best. Good luck. All the best. Newcomers like to see you. Welcome to Golden Balls Bakery Table. Thank you for much for joining us. How are you today? So soon starts your round. Final seconds. Best work, close. Thank you for this round. Sound of cards. This is more of a anti domino issue. And um, we're waiting for the. Um, and two bets, which is the opposite of the second outcome. There we go. So uh, usually, and two confirmation, you need to have a box, but this is a minor confirmation, so we just go for a minor bet. And uh, well, there's a confirmation on the beat road, which is good. So let's uh, hike up the bet a little bit higher, because that's a banker here and a banker there. That's that's a strategy confirmation. Yeah, we got it. Four for the player, nine for the bank. Bank makes that our four is natural for a complex to think for playing case and mini two yet to win. Thank you so much. You more than welcome to place your bets. We show all the best of luck to you. So we're gonna just take it slowly. So we'll try to, you know, increase our bankroll very slowly. Okay, we're gonna grind it out for another half an hour. No volatility and no surprises, guys. I mean, this is just pure strategy game. Okay, this is not. We're not looking for excitement or some kind of uh, hooligans shouting in terms of crying. And, and all right, now here we go. Well, there is no confirmation here because of the tie, but there is a strong confirmation of the N series. Uh, in this case, we'll just take it. We'll take it. Thank you, Bess and Thomas, for the sense eight of clubs, four, nine, jack, ace, and diamond. Good luck, Tim. Four for the player. Nope, we didn't get it, I guess. No. So, uh, yeah, there was no confirmation. See, that's the point. If you follow only one strategy, the likelihood of error is much higher. But if you have a two-factor confirmation on both sides, it's an amazing uh, trigger. So, uh, right now, banker and two, there is no confirmation, so forget it. I'm just going to bet time. Nine for the player, golden grace and player sent strong hands, Bakker for the bank player with winner, Bakker's small spice five X compasses. Next trigger player. Well, there you go. There's a butterfly pattern again. There's a confirmation with the bead road for the butterfly pattern. So let's go for it. Final seconds for your bets. Let's go for it. That is a X and a slide. That's a player and a player on the butterfly pattern. Hopefully with the multiplier. Nice. Nine. Oh, tie. Even better. 
All right, cool. We'll take that. Well, we still have that butterfly pattern <laughs> stuck there. So we'll just go with the $5 bet for the benefit of the doubt. Hmm. Okay, the pattern broke. When the pattern breaks, everything else breaks. So uh, I'm expecting uh, a breaky pattern from now on. So we must gonna we might gonna have here a banker, like banker player, banker banker player, like that. So basically, it's called a neutral pattern. So when a pattern such as strong pattern breaks, uh, you just have to go, and I'll tell you guys how to bet this. Right, so just go the opposite of the previous. So let's say this is a banker and player, and previously it says go opposite of the previous, which is player go for banker. Just continue doing that for a while until you know you lose twice, okay? Yep, we got it. So the opposite of of the previous of the banker is player. So you bet on the player. And we got it. All right. So now the opposite of the previous is banker. So it's opposite of that is player. Nah. That's <laughs> you know, I mean, these random events are funny. So you just uh, don't get too excited. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to remind yourself. Wow, eight times, and I don't think we're gonna get it. There we go. We don't. We didn't get it. We didn't get it. Only two dollar bet. See what I mean? Sometimes you have to play the devil's advocate. All right. So now, opposite of the player is the banker. So uh, this is the second uh, error. If, this, if this is the second time loss, we're going to stop this uh, strategy, you know, which is the opposite of the previous. We're going to stop that. So that's how it works. So you're going to stop that strategy. Oh, two multipliers. No, we didn't get it. Two and what? And one. Oh, my goodness. All right. So, okay. So we're going to scrap that. So any strategy with two errors, you need to stop. Okay. So this is a three sequence. Uh, you have no uh, confirmation here. So we're just going to go for time pairs. Eventually, the opportunity will present itself. You just have to wait for it. Right, okay, so uh, still no opportunity here. And this is N2 shoe, so we'll go for the banker. This might be a good, because it's been a while. Okay, so I think this N2 will be in our favor. <coughs> Right? Oh, three times. Come on. Oh, what is that? Did we get it? No. We didn't put the freaking pair. Oh, man. Oh, we got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. Amazing. Wow, 237. Wow. I love N-series strategy bet, guys. It just gives me uh, goosebumps. 
3,688. More than we can ask for. Gracious goodness. All right, so basically here, Yeah, so you keep grinding until the opportunity presents itself, okay? That's how it is. I mean, you don't necessarily have to get every single bet. This is, that's, what, that, that, that's why they call it grinding. Grinding, you're not, you know, supposed to go up gradually. You're supposed to go up and down for a while until the opportunity comes, and then bang, you know, you just shoot up. So here we got the X, the slider B, okay, B and B doesn't match. Yeah, it could because this is N2 pattern. It, there could be, it could be a banker. It could be a banker. But we're going to put the tie. This could be a banker. Oh, we got it. Okay. Good enough. See what I mean? See, the why I put the, uh, the the tie rather than the strategy, but because, uh, uh, you know, if you hear me, I said it could be, right? So if it is could be, it means that there's a lot of uncertainty. If, it is, if there is a lot of uncertainty, I would rather put small bet on the tie and get a bigger reward than lose on the banker or player. So that's the whole idea. Okay, now again, and too bad, and too bad. So this time, I'm just going to watch. Uh, let's see what it does, since it's not always Christmas. That's a good thing when you're playing with an excellent coffee. It just puts you in a mood. You don't, you're not in a in a hurry to place a bet, all right? You just relax. See what I mean? That's that's what I say. It's not always Christmas. So, um, because there are too many times the end to give us a solid triggers, and then somehow it has to fail. And, you know, you just have to um, uh, incorporate, you know, a failure rate as well in your strategy, okay? Your strategy cannot be 100% bulletproof. Did we say it's N2, N3? Yeah, we, we did, actually. So there you go. That's the N3 bet. All right. Sounds good. So now we're just going to wait. So look at the ratio between the wins and losses is so close together. Uh, this is amazing. Usually the number of losses is much higher than the wins. And what happens is that our VB bet on, on, on you know, uh, hike up our uh, our cash flow rather than the uh, rate of winning, okay? Usually the losses is, is are bigger than the wins, all right? So this is why, you know, the VB bets come in handy. Okay, so is this going to go into the... Uh, N3 pattern now, the player. So we might have a small bet there. No, we didn't go there. All right. Oh. All right. It's taking a while. Yeah, we're just gonna basically grind it out, guys. I mean, we're not gonna bet, you know, even VB bet, we're not gonna bet high. We just wanna make sure that, you know, we have a very high return on this shoe. We don't wanna give up, you know, all our profit back to the shoe, 
right? That's the thing. Uh, where was it? Was it this one here? Okay, I think we should uh, shift the shoe. Let's go and play this one. So that shoe, I think it gave us more than um, more than 50%, probably 60, 70%, 70%, all right? That's amazing. So uh, um, let's not expect, uh, it's too loud. Let's not expect that, you know, it's going to happen all the time. So one shoe can give you 60, 70%, but this shoe might give you only 1%. So really, you have to, you know, just keep your head on your shoulder, and and keep it tight. I mean, you know, you know, just don't run after these big wins all the time. Uh, always, when you have a big win, accept the fact that you know the losing cycle is coming. That's according to our math. Okay, so just uh, manage the losing cycle, guys. Okay, now we are expecting a losing cycle to begin. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna grind. We're gonna grind to the bone. I mean, really, really small bets until the dealer gets gets frustrated. Just joke, right? So basically, that yeah, that's about it. I mean, that's that's how that's how I do. It. That's how I do it. So, oops. Uh, what's the strategy now? All right. Okay. There's nothing here. It's N3 shoe. Uh, it's N3 shoe again. That's good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So one, two, three, four, five. So this is more like uh, N3. Okay, let's stick with N3 with a bit of risk to the downside. All right. So that's the pattern. <clears throat> We still have to determine the transition pattern. Most likely it's going to be N1. So it's going to be N3, N1 with a risk to the downside. Small bet on the uh, N1 since there is no confirmation on the beat road. Okay, so it's N3, N1. So this time we're not going to bet opposite of the second outcome. We have to wait for either N3 or N1. And we might consider N4 to the downside. Thank you, Vice Request. We send five lightning cards, ten of clubs with the attack. Good luck. Eight for the players, strong of ten, seven for the bank, lightning cards, and bank, we send players eight or seven is that. So there you go, that's the first N3. And the B3 Delta winners, thank you for the kind place for best. Good luck, I wish you all the best. Last second to improve this price. All right. Thank you. Best down to three X. Only one multiplier. Hmm. Pray for the player. Five for the bank. I think we got it. Yep. Bank means five. There you go. Three complex winners. Thank you for playing Chini. But Aka Yato winners. Thank you for the trends. You might as well get to place your best. Good luck. I will show the best. Down is yours. N3, N1, and then N4 to the downside. That's the strategy of this shoe. Good for the player. Pray for the bank lights and cards and bank presents. Extra cards in bank corner. Play with center to accomplish tennis. Thank you for playing Genie Seeds, Cargo, Yato Winners. Thank you for the trends. Plays for best. Good luck. All the best. N1. Do we have a confirmation? No. So, small bet. Well, at least if we can get that eight times, we got it. All right. Come on, babe. Ooh, we got it. 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 We got
And how much is that? Not bad. Twenty dollar on two dollar bet. I wish it was hundred dollar. It could have gone easily hundred dollar. Still in one. Thank you guys for close for this kind of free life, my friends. Good luck. Two for the player, four for the bank. It's three cards for the player, it's three cards for the bank. Thank you guys for six compliments to this. Thank you for playing Jimmy Billy Fizz. You got done with this. Thank you for the trend. Please play your bets and wish you all the best. Good luck to you. So, two times bank and play a bank of three times play. What's for the next one series? And don't forget to vote for this thing. Thank you, but since I'm still for this one, three lights in the Good luck. <coughs> five for the player, nine for the bank. Bank is under five snatches for complex this thing. So, playing Chinese season. Here you go. Another entry. Place your best. Good luck. So, all the best. Time is yours. Let's hike up a bit a bit in case there is a multiplier, like eight times or something like that. Last second for the this card. Okay, give it to us. Fifty-eight dollars, guys. Thank With you. A, time is over, but it's time for a nice multiplier you can ask oh five okay. times, eh? Four for the player, six for the bank extra. Uh, no, no, we didn't get it. Extra cards hmm. Bank okay, let's to the downside. So most likely this is going to be a banker now, according to our strategy. Okay, so let's do it. Let's do it. Wow. That's uh, a lot of trust in our strategy, folks. Buffer for the player, one for the bank, as I was wrong. And we got it. Bank is in our buffer, I completely see what is thinking for playing. Strategy is the king. Yeah, that's, that end for, you know, risk to the downside was spot on. Okay. Last second to play your bets. Thank you, guys, and time is up. It's time for your lightning card. Good luck. Two for the player, three for the bank. Extra cards for the player, extra cards for the bank. Play with better free complex in this thing for playing Chini and just. Let me say, we said N3, N1, risk to the downside on N4. N3, N1. So basically, banker. Do we have confirmation? No. Here it says player on the beat road. So uh, we just place a $5 bet on the banker. That's why we bet uh, small. Here we have no. 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 Well, hello, N3, right? So we are, yeah, we have to wait for the N3. Okay. How are you today? So let's start doing rounds for in a second. Thank you, Buzz, for close. Let us check for this round. Five lightning cards. Good luck. Six for the play lightning cards and bankers, and one for the bank extra cards and bankers. Wow. Look at that. 15 times. Who could have guessed? <laughs> this is crazy. All right. Eight. Oh, 13 times? 15 times, wow. Thank you, Buzz, for close to this round three lightning cards. Good luck. Three for the player, eight for the bank. Bank cards is your previous nashes for accomplice this thing for playing genius. So, um, okay, now this is going, since it's now in the middle of the shoe, this is going the other way around. So most likely it's going to be a player. Last most likely. So we're just going to bet small just to see if we can write this pattern here. Okay. Thank you, but it's not <clears> over, but it's because in the middle, lightning. you know, the pattern can change. So whenever you spot a strong pattern, strong trend, just follow it. Buckler 
for the flare bar craft for the bangs on the drum. Nine, we got it. Maybe it's not a risk conference missing for play sweet chini card events on what is thank you for the transfer. Mr. Best wish you all the best. Good luck to you. Let's wait on this one. We will start it very soon, five or seconds. Thank you, best request for this one for life and increase. Good luck. Five for the player, nine for the bank. Good thing we waited. Five is Nash's for conference missing for playing NJ. Okay, now let us say confirmation banker. That is N1 is a player, so again, no confirmation. Just go for the parent tie bit. Thank you, Bats for close for this one for lightning grace. Good luck. Four for the player, two for the bank is always wrong. Lightning grace and bank is and bank is center five is most blessed to XCOM for spirits. Thank you for playing my J. Bark on the field to waves. Thank you. Yeah, player, but this is N1. Huh. We might have to skip this one as well. The last second since we just started. Thank you, that's for close for the same side of spade is free. X8 is spade is free. X. Good luck. One for the player, eight for the bank, bank, and eight for one. Yep, there we go. So that's N3. All right. N3 with the risk to the downside, which means banker and banker, there's a, well, there's no confirmation. So let's just take it easy. $10 bet on the player because there is a risk to the downside. Thank you. Betting time is up. Present team for clubs is 4x. For clubs is 4x. Good luck. Hmm. Nine for the players, strong hands, eight for the bank. We got eight it. Eight for Zashers for accomplice and Thank you so much. Plays for best, good luck, we show all the best. Newcomers, welcome to Lighting Bar Craft Table. Thank you very much for joining us. How are you? How is your day going? <coughs> Excuse me. Best for close, thank you for the strong free lightning cards. Good luck. <coughs> Eight for the players, strong hands, one for the bank, plays eight or one with Nash was for accomplice that is thank you for playing C G. Okay, there we go. Player player. Okay guys, it's one of those bet. I'm gonna go for it. So two times player one for eight. Hopefully we get this. It's a player here, player here. And it's N three. So everything is aligned. Let's make it happen. Good luck. Eight. Yes, we got it. Right, so now it should be banker and player, no confirmation, but we will still take it on the lower lo low bet. Thank you, Bats for close to the same thing as Vegas. Two X, Ace is down to the Spark X. Good luck. One for the player, seven for the bank, extra cards for the player only. Hmm. Player is not a risk, seven conflicts in the sink for playing Siege, J cool. Link, yet to win. So now, risk to the downside. So basically, player here is a banker. There is a contradiction. So we're just going to skip it. Last seconds for your bets. Thank you. Betting time is over. The same thing for the cards for 3x. Says banker here, player here. It is the player. Amazing. Hmm. Okay, now. Most likely is the banker because there is an L shape here going to be forming on the banker side. So let's go for it. Banker bet. Come on, give it to us. The banker. That's the L shape of the banker. And opposite of this. Usually a good confirmation. There we go. Picture. Six and two. Nice.
Okay, let's see if this is going to form a butterfly pattern now. One, two, three, and then five streak, and then one, two, three. So let's ride that pattern now on five dollar bet. Thank you, Betsy and Tomazilla, for this round three lightning card. Good luck. One for the player, two for the betting top is wrong. Nope. That pattern didn't form. So again, so there's there's a pattern break. When there's a pattern break, always follow the opposite of the previous. So now the previous of banker is a player. Thank you, best request for this turn for a lightning card. Good luck. Bucker for the play lights and cards and bankers saying free for the bank, extra cards for the player, extra cards for the bank. Banker is for our bankers, no place for X, don't be silly, stay for playing seats. So the previous of the banker, the player didn't play out. Okay, now the previous of the player is a banker, and here is a player. Okay, so let's not get carried away with this. Let's see if it if it's what it's gonna do because this one should be player. Yeah, it is. Okay, here is also player. There's a confirmation. Right, there's a player. Seven for the player, three for the bank, extra cards in bank only. Yep. That's a player. Now there's a banker here and a banker on the N1. There we go. Come on. Don't let us down. Beautiful confirmation. Let's make it happen. Oh, no. Hey. Yeah. Oh, yes. We got the tie. All right, cool. Um, it is still the banker, though. So now it's a tie player, banker, player, banker, player. We might have a statistic. What is the next message they say? Thank you, Betty Thomas, ever for this round of three lightning cards. Eight of diamonds, please, eight times. Eight of diamond, eight times. Come on, seven. Picture, nice. Ooh. No way. Nine. Hmm. Okay, the N1 failed. So in this case... Where are they piercing the ties in this game? Thank you, best for close for this transfer lightning card. That four times would have been sweet. Four for the player, two for the bank, double draw. Whoa, we got the time. So, um... Uh, last, now we last really have to skip this. Uh, where are the shoe now? I think it's coming towards the end. Okay. So now I think the dominant pattern should come back, which is N3, N1, risk to the downside, right? So let's see if this one goes to the banker. Six for the play lights and cards and players sent free for the bank. Extra card to bank only. So we'll go for the N1. Um, we have to wait for the confirmation in this case. Let's see one more outcome. Final seconds. Thank you, Betsy Tamizo, for this round three lightning card. Good luck. Buck card for the player, five for the bank, extra cards for the player. Bank with five over one complex. This thing didn't go to N1. Good. Thank you so much. More is welcome to place your bets and ladies and gentlemen. So see you around. Good luck. Enjoy. This one I think most likely is going to be player. And then it's going to be a bank. Banker next. If it's a banker here on N3, then it's sweet. We'll just take it on the player bet.
Yeah, that's what I thought. Now it's going to be a banker now. Uh, there's a tie here. Well, before. So. Let's see what it does. Mm. Nope. Okay, so I think this shoe is probably finished in terms of uh, triggers. I'm just going to go for a banker now, following the trend. I'm just going to follow the trend. If we lose this, I think we have to switch the shoe. That's the end of the shoe. There's too much uh, variability. What is that? Five. Hmm. Yeah. Well, there's an N3 there. I have a bad feeling. I don't think uh, it's going to be a banker. But let's see what it does. Most likely, because it's, it, this shoe has a risk to the downside, so most likely it's going to be a player. I don't think it's going to be a banker. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, so now it's the player. And these are the hedging bets. There we go. That's a too much trust again on the strategy. That's a good risk to the downside. Player bet. Let's see. Hmm. Nice. Nice. Let's wait for the new sequence now. Again, uh, there's this butterfly pattern here, and this could be a box formation here. So yeah, this this could be uh, you know somehow a very minor trigger, but let's play it in case we might see a multiplier as well. So let's hope that this pattern materializes. Otherwise, we have a strategy to follow. Yeah, no, we didn't get it lately. Nine, eight, seven. All right, so the pattern again broken, opposite of the bank is a player. So here it should be a player. Okay. That's a player because Hold on. It's a banker. Hmm. Well, we got it. I think that we got lucky. I don't know why I put player here. I was looking at something and I realized that was a wrong, but anyway, it worked out in our favor. So now uh, majority player is a player and player, yes. So, and again, so we don't have a trigger except that opposite of the previous is the banker because this pattern is broken, the butterfly pattern is broken. So we don't know. I mean, most likely it's a banker. Yeah, it's a tie. 45 times. Where's the 45 times when we needed it? All right. So, opposite of the player is the banker. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was placing the opposite of the banker. Okay, okay, now I got the strategy. I mean, 
Yeah, my strategy was right, guys. It was the player because the player was opposite of the banker. So when this butterfly pattern got broken, you need to follow the opposite of the previous strategy. So now it's a banker. Here you go. Okay. Now again a banker. All right. So I'm not following the beater anymore. I'm following the the, the you know, opposite of the previous as long as it is winning, right? Then you stop when it loses. So I'm gonna play a six for the bank. Hmm, we lost it. It's the opposite of the banker here is the player again. So there you go. That's called the neutral shoe pattern. So it's a player. Let's hike up the bet, guys, because I don't want to miss any multiplier in case if there is one. So the, our bankroll is now down to 3,600. All right. We are really stretching it on this shoe. Oh, no, you didn't get it. All right. Okay, that two errors is over. What a bummer. Okay, so here we go. <clears throat> it's a player, player, but again, this is an N3 shoe, not an N2 shoe. So in this case, we're just going to weigh this out. Most likely, this should be a banker in my case, even though the beat row is saying it's player. Nah, it's a player. Hmm. There was a contradicting signals. Where is the ties and the pairs when we need them? Okay, um, N1, there is no confirmation. Let's just go for it on the player, N1. Since the end of the shoe should be in our favor. Ooh, four times, come on. Come on, oh no. Oh, we didn't get it. God damn. There's a pattern here. Okay, we are already stretching it. Since at the end of the shoe, the N3 pattern should work. This should go to N3. Now, hmm, interesting. All right, folks, I'm going for it. There we go. Banker bet. And one. Nice, we got it. Thousand five hundred sixty, amazing, amazing. Back on track. And one. So end of the shoe. Usually our dominant pattern comes back. Okay, that's the whole idea. <coughs> so here's a player. Player again. It's a player. Oh, it's too late. Yeah, it should be player. 
Let's go to the Welcome to Farmer's Good afternoon, James. Oh, ah, okay. Okay, we're done with that. I think we got uh, amazing return on that shoe. So let's go back to There are no ties or there are no ties here so far, so and there is a long streak of choppiness and uh, seems like it's an N2 shoe. So it could be N2, N1. Next is a player. We'll take that. There's a confirmation of the player. That's a nice pattern here on the beat road. Nice, we got it. Six hundred and twenty. That's good. So the bead, the bead, the bead. All right. So there's one thing that we are facing a resistance at three thousand eight hundred dollar. If you guys noticed, so we got to be careful with this. We don't want to push it too much. All right. So the next figure here is a uh, player. And here we have nothing. So we're going to skip this. Okay, we're going to start a new session, guys. I think that session was uh, coming to an end. All right, so let's see. Uh, again, N4. Oh, man, this N4 is really terrible pattern. We're gonna, we will be suffering a lot, so we got to be careful. All right, so... Mm. All right. There is a banker confirmation, but I'm going to skip this just to see how it's going to perform. So uh, if it is a banker, then it's most likely N4, N1. So the uh, the transition pattern is not confirmed yet. That's the whole thing.
So it's not really N4N1, most likely N4N2. So if it's N4N2, then it should be a banker. There is a banker, yes, there is a confirmation. And let's go for Bakr attack strategy. Let's see if it's going to pay off. That was our Bakr attack strategy for this shoe in the beginning. So N4, N2, and confirmation on the beat road on the banker. Perfectly aligned. We got the tie at least. So let's just go for a small bet on the banker because of the tie. Yep, we got it. All right, so it's N4, N2, all right? So in this case, we just wait for the N2 or N4. Nothing else, nada. All right, that's a good, strong, solid confirmation on the uh, banker, banker. No, oh, this is a banker here on Beat Road, and it's a player, so we can't escalate the bet size. We can't. It's a banker here, player here. All right. All right. So, player. Most likely, this is a player. So, I'm tempted to tie on the player, but let's just watch because it's against our strategy. The strategy says N2, so we have to wait for the second outcome. As you can see, even me, sometimes I have this compulsive behavior I need to contain. See what I mean? Good thing that I didn't unleash my compulsion. All right, so the player, player, nope. You just have to wait. Where are the ties and the pairs? So, nothing. Most likely, this is going to have a going to be a choppy session. Let's just write a choppy session. Uh, this is the middle of the shoe. Sometimes it can have a very long choppy session from nowhere. Yep. Oh, tie. Hmm. If I was compulsive, I'm going to increase the bet size into $100 here. I don't know. I'm just, you know, sometimes I feel like compulsive betting, by the way. I mean, it's just exciting. But I really need to contain myself. It's just a feeling. All right. <laughs> All right, cool. So now I think uh, we're just going to continue with the choppy bets until it stops.
that was the end of it. All right, so now the pattern on the beat says player. And this was what? I forgot. This was N2, right? N2? No, N4, N1. All right, N4, N1. Yeah, it was N4, N1, guys. That's why we are getting this N1 bet, so I forgot. Man, I'm forgetting. Okay, so it's not an N2 bet, so we can't bet this. It's N4, N1. All right, so ideally you have to look for the N1 bet. But if we look here, it's banker. So we don't have a confirmation. So we can bet. There you go. All right. So um, next one is also we're gonna uh, skip the skip this one as well. Let's go for the tie and the pair here. Since there's a tie and a tie as well, the third tie. Let's see. Yeah. All right. So where are we? Banker player. This is a banker, right? So no bet on this one. Wow, terrible twos. Hmm. It says player on the beat road. This might as well be a player here. I don't think this is going to be a banker. But who knows? We don't have a trigger. Yep, there you go. All right, so here it says now the next is a banker is N2, sorry, N4, N1. So the banker. So we're going to, most likely this is going to go into another player down. Yep, yeah, it's a player. I knew that. No, it's a banker. Hmm. Pretty amazing. All right, the next one is uh, banker, banker, and it's N4, N1. So we don't have a confirmation again. Ooh, 72 times. Come on, give it to us. Oh, four. Nah. Man, look at those multipliers for nothing. <laughs> okay, so banker, yes, we have a confirmation, guys. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. I can't chicken out on this one. I can't. We got to do it. So three series, banker, N1, as well as banker on the beats road. If this doesn't happen, then I don't know what to say. We got to trust our strategy. Oh, my goodness. Here, come on, come on. Please. Oh, come on. Yeah, freaking it, man. We didn't get it. There we go. L shape player. That's our favorite indicator. I'm going to go all in on this one. Player, player. It's going to go to L and four. 
and L-shaped. We gotta get the, we gotta get this one. This one we gotta get it. Come on, guys. Come on. Let's do it. Come on. Shit. Come on. Oh. No, we didn't get it. Only the pairs. Hmm. It's the banker. It's the banker. Player, player, banker. Let's do it. Let's do it. One, seven, come on. Got it. Got it. Yes. $1,170. Amazing. Okay, three thousand. Back to three thousand five hundred. Uh, unbelievable, guys. Unbelievable. So back to. Okay, player. Let's do it. That's a freaking a terrible twos. It's a player here. Player here. Let's see if this works. Come on, give it that eight times. Come on, guys. Give me a break. Oh yes, we got it, babe. We got it. Six and four. But no multipliers. God damn it. No multipliers. All right. No problem. No problem. Hey, finally, $3,900. We got it. So the next one is player. It's a terrible twos. It's just um, converging into a terrible twos. Mm, there we go. Tricky one, tricky one. That's it, guys. We are out of this shoe. Uh, it's a it's a fairly tricky one. I told you, you know, when we have this N4 pattern, it's going to get ugly. It's going to get ugly. I knew that. I told you guys right from the beginning. There we go. It's just starting. I hope that it's not going to be N4 again. Oh, man. Why this internet connection is hanging? Hmm. The player wins. All right, so this is gonna take a time. I'm gonna pause this video until 10 outcomes and I'm gonna come back. And look at this win and losses ratio. It's pretty close together. That's impressive. All right, you're gonna. I'm gonna pause here and come back in about five or ten minutes. Cheers. All right, guys, we're back. All right, so um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It looks like N2. Uh, pretty decent. Thank God. Back to N2 pattern. Those N4s are really terrible. Okay, let's go for a Bakker attack strategy here. Okay, so N2, that's a player. Do we have, uh, but we don't have a uh, confirmation on the beast road. So $15 is fine. We cannot have a Bakra attack strategy without two factor confirmation. Eight and nine. Well, see, I told you there is no two factor confirmation. That's why we didn't bid, bet big. In this case, it's a banker and a banker. Again, it's not a trigger. Yep, as I said, that's not a trigger. So back to a butterfly. <laughs> there is a butterfly pattern forming. It's a player, but there is no confirmation. So just go for a smaller bet, $20. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, I think we got it. Yep. That's the butterfly part. Uh, after the butterfly, the the two goes to one. So it's a banker, and also we have, uh, sorry, banker. There we go. That's the Barker attack strategy. We have a decent trigger here. Mm, we didn't get it. Okay. We do have some weird, uh, weird uh, patterns forming, for some reason. All right, no problem. Um, it's one of those shoes. So you know, this pattern immediately transformed into N three from an N two. So that's the mind boggling. So we got to be careful. Um, I mean, we got to be careful when, our, when we are making decisions on this kind of patterns. Seems like it's not a good quality pattern uh, to begin with. Uh, on the dominant side. So the bead road, there is a my favorite pattern, which is the L form. I'm going to bank on that. So when you see three in a row, it forms an L on the bead road. Oh, we didn't get it. We got the, all right, $50 back. Hmm. That's a rail, actually. There's no L formation. And that's the L formation. L. This one is a big one. This is a big one. Okay, that's the bucker attack strategy. Here we go. L form and streak on the player. This should be it. This should be it. Yep, we got it. We got it. All right. That's the L, and that's the streak. Confirmed. So now we have to wait for the following sequence. And uh, so um, honestly, uh, the dominant pattern is, is a low quality, which is N2, all right? So um, I'm not gonna bother about this dominant pattern for this shoe. So I'm gonna put a lot more weight on the ongoing pattern in confirmation with the beat road. I think that's the best approach to this kind of shoes. So ongoing pattern in confirmation with the beat road. So the ongoing pattern says banker. Here it says banker. That is a confirmation. So let's go for it.
Oh, we got it. Oh, five times? Amazing. 297. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our strategy is working, guys. Ongoing pattern with the bead road. That's the uh, uh, that's the deal. All right, so 4,168. Wow. So the ongoing pattern is player and player. So it should be player here. Banker, banker. Well, let's do it. Seems like it's working. Ongoing pattern with the beetroot. Banker, banker. We got it. Okay, player, player, again. So we're just going to reduce the bed size now. Let's respect the negative EV. It's following us wherever we go. So let's look at the win and the losses. 36.50, that ratio is not too bad. There we go. We uh, we lost that. That's why we reduced the bed size. All right. So um, that's the L shape here, banker. But there is no. Okay, let's go for the L shape. I like the L shape. It gives really good result. See this L shape here. It's a banker here. Yep, we got it. Beautiful. This L shape is beautiful. It's my favorite. Oh, two times. So now we have to wait for the following sequence. As I told you guys, I mean, if you want to make money, just um, calculate um, return per shoe. Um, don't, you know, hop around the shoes and one win per shoe or trying to, um, you know, chase the wins and chase big wins in one single shoe. All of these are the things that's going to make you fail big time in Bakra. In Bakra, you have to calculate uh, a couple of things. One is that you need to grind and you need to see, you know, what is the rate of return per shoe. But in terms of big win, it's going to present itself. When it comes, you will know it, okay? You don't have to chase it. Just keep grinding and keep focusing on, on profit per shoe and follow the strategy and, and you know, keep it cool and you will get there. All right, so here you go. Player, player, no. Uh, there is no ongoing pattern. So what's the ongoing pattern here? The ongoing pattern is probably this one, this shape here. So it's going to continue with the same shape. So it's a banker, but it doesn't coincide with the beat road. So I'm not going to bet. Yep, there we go. Now comes the three sequence. Banker, bank, again, this is contradiction, right? So you go with small bet. Don't you guys like this VB bet concept? That's the way to go. I think VB bet is all about not betting too high too often. That's number one. Number two, uh, you're not chasing the wins. You're not chasing the losses. Okay, and you're also, you know, timing the, uh, you know, the the high bet. Uh, it's just a beautiful concept, to be honest.
player. Yep. So ongoing pattern is this structure here. Okay, so we're assuming the same structure is going to repeat. And banker, banker, yeah. So let's escalate the bed size marginally just to benefit from that confirmation here. Yep, we got it. Player, we have to wait. Yep, it is a player. Amazing. So um, the structure anytime could, you know, could form a box. So we got to be careful. So we're going to skip uh, a couple of rounds here. There you go. All right, so um, it's a player and player. According to the confirmation, it's supposed to be a player. And it's a solid confirmation. Let's go for it. It's a player, player. Yeah, we got it. Amazing. There you go. So now here we have a tie, so we don't know. Okay, there's no two-factor confirmation on this one, but it's most likely it's going to fill this gap downward. So we're just going to place one dollar bet. I mean, one dollar bet is according to the economic term of utility factor, meaning that um, you need to accept small rewards as the bankroll increases in order to win in gambling. Okay, so you have to put this in your mind. You're kidding me. It's going to be tie? Oh no! <laughs> wow, that's 120 times on the tie. Oh man! That's... All right, so cool. We got it. So. Uh... Yeah, back to the utility factor. So there's something called um, concave utility factor and convex utility factor. Concave utility factor says that when you are winning, okay, you need to more accept uh, the fact that you're going to be facing marginal loss, hence accept marginal gains. You got, you got that? The more the bankroll increases, you have to accept more and more marginal gains, meaning that do not chase bigger wins, okay, um, because of a negative EV. And the con convex utility factor says that as the bankroll increases, your risk appetite increases, hence you refuse to accept small gains anymore. You want bigger gains, and therefore your risk appetite increases. And this is where you lose in gambling, all right? So keep that in mind. Right, so 
we have to wait. Sorry guys, this video is going to be long just to show you guys how um, how you how you make return per shoe in Bakra. The concept of uh, profit per shoe or winning per shoe. Okay, um, yeah. Uh, so this video is going to explain exactly that concept. Um, you know how you make profit rate per shoe. So if you make one percent, so be it. So as you have seen in previously, in some shoes we faced negative five percent. So it's fine, you know. Um, but most of them we had ten percent. One of them we gave us eighty percent, but mostly it gave us five to ten percent. And some can give you negative five percent, negative ten percent, and that's what what you what you should consider when playing Bakra. Okay, so this pattern is persisting, same pattern. So that's the ongoing pattern. Okay, this pattern is coming to change. So here we go, rail. So next one is a banker. I think it's going to be two more bankers or three more bankers, if I'm not mistaken, but it can change. Nice. There you go, three times. All right, so we might see now another banker. Let's go for it. So this is playing a, a fixed, perfect structural pattern and with the confirmation. Nope, we didn't get this. Right. So that's where the pattern broke. All right. So we're going to skip a couple of rounds just to see you know, how the pattern is going to reshape. In the meantime, we can just put the ties in the pairs. So that's, that's again a slope here. Most likely it's going to be a banker. Let's take some risk on this one. This is a nice slope forming here. Okay. So most likely it's a banker here. Again, I'm I'm, I'm betting on ongoing pattern, guys. There's no more beat road and so it's ongoing pattern. Yeah, we got it. So that's a slope. Now the slope usually breaks to the downside. So this could be a banker again or player. So this is like 50-50. So I'm not going to bet on this one. It can break on either side. Yeah, it broke horizontally. 
All right, so this is the slope and broke to the... Uh, so basically now I have no clue, except that we have to wait for to see what the ongoing pattern is. Well, this doesn't tell us anything right now. And uh, I cannot see the shoe, how far it is. You know, uh, is it... Uh, so we're going to be skipping the shoe now because it's not clear. And uh, I think we have passed the, the middle of the shoe quite well. And there was a nice pattern formation. So there we go. We have a um, player backwards. Yeah, so this is going bad right now. So we're going to switch the shoot. There's a new one here. I love this multiplier tables. Wow, this is a high quality shoe. Amazing. Finally. Let's make it happen here, guys. Why it's not showing the the dealer? Next one is a player. N3, N1. Amazing. Nope, we didn't get it. So what happened here? Seven and zero. Hmm. Yeah, sorry, I had to take a long pause, and I'm back now. That L shape is formed. Okay, that, that, that's what I can see right now. And um, what else? Yeah, so N3, yeah, N3 was playing absolutely fantastic. We missed all of these N3 bets. Well, this one broke down, all right. So uh, we just have to wait now for the for the next sequence to play. Um, let's see, because N3 is a very high quality, high dominant pattern. So we need to strictly follow that. So we don't have any confirmation yet. Well, we do have a confirmation on the streak, though, uh, which is the player, but it's contradicting with our the end, uh, the dominant, which is N3. So I'm not really keen to bet on the player. Oh, we missed that, eh? It's fine. So now, hmm. well, now there's a streak. Whenever there's a streak, you need to follow the trend. Let's try. Just one of those bits. We have to follow the, the streak.
Yeah, I hate this. Well, hmm. Okay, so it's player, player, and three, and one, right? So, yep. Let's go for it. This is a VB bet. I think we got two times wrong. And with a confirmation. So, this should work. This should work. Yeah, we got it. We got it. Yeehaw. All right. So, um, so uh, back. To, so this is N three N one. So next one is banker, and it's banker here as well. Let's go for it. Okay. So that's a three series banker, N one, and a confirmation hero. So it's fully aligned. Yep. All right. I haven't seen pairs so far. And the tie, look at this, so empty. No ties. Okay, so still it's very stubbornly banker. So basically it's going to be a banker, banker confirmation. There are there is a confirmation. Let's try to get this. Let's try to get this. Ah, I think we lost it. I lost it. Right. So uh, N three N one, right? So basically, it's going to N three, and uh, majority of players. So yeah, I think we're gonna get this right. So majority majority player N three is going downward. So this should be a player. Come on. Don't make us wait. Oh no, we don't. We, don't, we lost it. One and eight, probably out. Yeah. Okay, uh, the patterns are changing, guys. So basically, what we're going to do. There we go. This is going to be a player. I'll tell you exactly what is this bet all about. Okay. If I win this, I'll tell you exactly what is this bet all about. Okay, we won that. So let me tell you what was that bet. Amazing. That bet, basically, I'm going against my strategy. All right, so basically on the beat row, it says banker, but I played player. So, because I saw this strategy is not working, right? So when I see the strategy is not working, what I do, I shift the gear on my beat row strategy. So whenever the beat row gives me a trigger, I go against it. It's called anti-strategy. That's it. All right, so you can do that, but it's a bit advanced because you really have to see that uh, consistently your strategy is failing. Then you could go against your strategy. Okay, so look, it's, go it's going against the strategy all the way. X, X. All right, so that's the thing. This requires deep thinking. Okay, it's not easy. You have to master the N series and the beat row strategy first to do this, to go against the strategy. For this shoe now, I'm going to go against strategy for the rest of the shoe until, you know, it's uh, it's over. Uh, it's obvious, right? So I'll, I'll show you now what's, what's going to happen here. By the way, I mean, it could end. I mean, this, the, this phase of anti-strategy could end as well. So this is that's why you can bet all the time high. So it's not a definite thing. I mean, you know, for me, one time I bet big, I got it, but it doesn't mean that I can repeat it. 
So now I'll follow the entire strategy, but with lesser, smaller bet sizes. Give it to us 10 times. No. <laughs> right, nine. All right. So, okay, there we go. All right. Here's his N3. Here's his banker. So, I'm going to go against the banker signal. I'm going to put it on the player. Simple as that. Okay. The trigger is a banker. It's N3. Sorry. I mean, trigger is a banker on the B draws. I'm going against my B draw strategy. My B door is saying banker, I place it on the player. Come on. No, we got the we got the pair. All right. Good enough, good enough. So um so okay now one time we it didn't work. So now I'm gonna be more careful. Here it says banker, I'm gonna follow the strategy. Okay, in this case, I'm gonna follow the strategy because I got it wrong here. So this time I'm going to follow the strategy. Hmm. See what I mean? It's flip flopping. Okay. So basically, uh, where are we now? Four, one, five, six, right? So hmm. So I'm going to. Here we go. So basically, you know, this pattern is really kind of tricky now. So basically, in the bid row, it's showing that, you know, mirror, mirror, mirror. So I'm following a mirror strategy. Once I get this, I'm going to quit right, right here. Okay, we got it. That's it. I mean, this is too much of um, variability, okay? So uh, you, you can't continue like this forever because otherwise you're going to lose. So that's it. So we got the bankroll back to 4,300, and that's it. We're going to quit the shoe because it's, um, it's gyrating too much on the strategy. All right, guys? Uh, you can do it, uh, but then, you know, you have to really pay attention to all these fluctuations, and you can't, you can't continue doing that forever. Ooh, okay, it's just beginning. All right. Well, to start with, you have to follow the strategy, okay? And then once you see the strategy is failing consistently, you can go anti-strategy. And if you see the anti-strategy and strategy is fluctuating, then, you know, I got to do something. And then uh, as soon as possible, you need to quit, this, quit that shoe uh, with minimum damage. And this is a uh, player-dominant shoe. Yeah, it's a player-dominant shoe, actually. So we're just going to keep betting on the player for a while. And it is one, two, three, four, five, N4 plus shoe. All right. Oh, man, N4. I hate N4 or N4 plus. Yeah, it's a player dominant shoe for a while. Yeah, we got it. That's cool. Yeah, it's a player dominant shoe. I'm gonna keep betting on the player.
Nice. All right, so I think uh, we're going to pause here a bit, see uh, when the pattern is going to end. This is just to lock in the profit. So we're going to pause this game for a while. I'll be back in about five, 10 minutes. Cheers. Right. I'm back. All right. So basically, yeah. So now it's uh, three series here. So I think we're going to be ending the uh, today's session very soon. We uh, did extremely well. And um, so let's go back to that uh, multiplier table. This one is way advanced. All right, so where is that? Okay, there you go. All right, so let's uh, wait for the following sequence. And this is seems like it's going to form the same pattern. And uh, let's look at the players here. Yes, the guys are here also following that pattern. So here is $7,000. Here is $3,000, 4000 That's almost $8,000. So yeah, people are fo following you know, the, the pattern here. Interesting. Hmm. Wow, two times, amazing pattern. This table is winning, that's good news. All right, so um, let's go for player bet. Here's also confirmation player, the box formation on the bead road. So it's confirmed, if it's not, then we have a problem with the strategy. We might have to go to anti-strategy. Come on, another two, another 10, sorry. Another 10, another 10. Oh, wow, we got it, we got it, we got it. Yeah, but only $38, guys, what the hell? Shit, <laughs> that was $38, all right. Anyway, four, three, two, five, not bad. Yeah, see, I mean, did you hear me when I said only $38? That's called the marginal satisfaction rate. So my satisfaction rate is going down on smaller amount of rewards. That's not a good news. That's a red flag. When that happens, it's time to quit. Okay? It's time to quit because I'm not giving a value to small rewards, which means that my risk appetite is becoming much higher. And any time I could end up making big bet and out of compulsive behavior, and the whole shit is going to hit the fan. So... And you need to watch out for that. All right. Okay, the ties are coming, the pairs are coming. What, what's going on? And they missed this darn player. 
Okay, so now banker, there's no uh, trigger. Um, I don't think it's gonna be a banker again. The patterns could be changing at any time. So I'm just gonna watch out for a while rather than naively thinking that the pattern is gonna continue. Yep, it's a time. All right, that's too many ties. So basically with these ties, I think uh, this table you know, came to an end, to be honest. But to give it the benefit of the doubt, we'll just go for the banker bet so that we can see there's a uh, three series under formation. Mm, we got it. All right. So, we have no clue now what is going on. It's really 50 50 now. Again, back to the win and losses. Wins and losses, man. The ratio is so close together, it's amazing. Which means that we're on the right track. That's that's what it says. And we have to continue what you know what I've been doing. So I, I you know I'm doing I'm doing fine. There's no need to change the strategy or anything like that. So this win and loss rate is so close to each other. All right. So uh, banker, player, banker. Yeah. So, no player. Okay, the beat road trigger is a player. Here's N1, it's a banker. Amazing ties. Nice bet actually on the N one, um, but there's, there are no confidence. So let's just follow the trend for the time being. So I'm gonna just just get a bet a bit for one time only, and then I'm gonna go back to minimal bet. Nope. All right. So, interesting. No signals. So we're going to stay away. It, this banker might drop down. Okay. I have a feeling. Now, this is just off the books. So the banker might follow this player pattern. So it might drop down. I don't see any other pattern on this shoe right now except this. Well, that pattern didn't work out either. Yeah, I'm telling you, so there's no confirmation, so let's not push these things around. Okay, let's just uh, quit the shoe because of so many ties have uh, disturbed the patterns and triggers and everything else just falling apart. All right, so let's see. This one is just starting. This one has a, well, this one seems okay. So where are the, uh, okay, here you go, right.
Okay, the next one is a player bet. Should we take it? Let's do the tie and watch the outcome for a while. Nope, it's still the banker. All right, so here we go. It's going to be a banker because of that L shape. So $100 on the banker. This is the big one. Okay, that's L shape, my favorite trigger on the bead road. Plus that streak. Streak and L shape is an amazing trigger most of the time. Hmm. Dangerous, dangerous. That didn't happen. Okay, so now it's a banker. We're going to go player. So we are now playing anti strategy. All right. Yes, anti-strategy. So the anti-strategy now, we have to go against the strategy, okay? So here, it's a rail. This one is tricky. We're going to stay out of this one. Wow, this I think this is going to be um, again. See this is butterfly <laughs> pattern. Is a, this is a very long butterfly pattern. I haven't seen this for a while. All right, let's see if this butterfly pattern is going to complete. All right. Let's do it. Let's follow the butterfly pattern. I think my risk appetite is increasing, guys. So this is just a heads up. I might have to uh, put some control behavior to contain my uh, risk appetite. But it's okay. Good. We got it. So back to 4,300. Yeah, that's right. So... Um, I need to push myself to lower the bet size. Sorry, I know that it's not gonna make you too excited. All right, glad that we put only five. So now, we're going to have some, I think, I believe we're going to have some pairs. So whenever you have a butterfly pie pattern, there are a lot more ties and pairs, guys. That's another hint. Okay, the three series is coming here on the banker side, and here is the banker. I hope this is true, okay? Now, otherwise, you know, I'm gonna grow two horns on my head. Now, here is a banker, and that's a banker on the three series. Usually, you know, this is right. But if it's not, then I have a problem with this shoe. Okay, we got the tie at least. Hmm. That 
that tie kind of like, well, let's go with $5 bet. Hmm. Yeah, I do have a problem with this shoe, guys. I'm just going to leave this shoe alone. Lightning Sigbo. Wow, that looks nice, but I don't know how to play Sigbo. Fantan. Maybe we should give it a try on those games. Um, this is called what? Uh, Perishable tree or something, all right. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Yeah, so we are coming to an end very soon. I'm um, just going to try to push this like a little bit above $4,300. And then we're going to stop the game. Okay, now here is go. Yeah, here you have mirror, mirror. And the next mirror is the banker. And that's, okay, banker here. So let's let's see if this one gives us a nice end to this session with a nice profit. So I usually go for, if I see two mirrors, I go for mirror. If there is not, if there are two non mirrors, non mirrors like that. So I just follow the, follow the trend kind of thing. No, I think we lost it. It's a bad one. Okay. So there's a tie here. Oh boy. Back to this ties and pairs. So what the heck is this shoe doing? So, okay, and one. So this could be whatever. I, mean, I don't think I, I'm following this shoe at all. So. Yeah, I knew it was a banker. Anyhow, so yeah, I mean, there is a trigger coming here. Let's wait for one more outcome. Or we could as well follow these two patterns, and that could be a nice one. So let's follow that. Okay. There is a nice two formation here, a box formation. And again, it's a high probability betting. I mean, there is no trigger at all. It's just a high probability betting. Oh, look at this. Multipliers. Three times. Nice. Wow. $540? Amazing, guys. So that's like, what? 4600 Amazing. So uh, should we just uh, push this to $5,000? What do you think? This is amazing. So yeah, let's just follow this uh, Turbo 2 trends. Well, the trend is broken now, so let's just wait. I hope you guys are enjoying this uh, strategic uh, Baccarat game, our strategy game in Baccarat.
Now, two and a half hours, guys. It's a long video. Sorry about that. I just wanted you to see that how the bankroll can go up in this strategy games, right? From 2,400. Uh, I mean, you know, so our aim was, can we double that amount? Yes, we can. So it, it's nothing to do with the, the size of the bankroll. I mean, the strategy can actually double up your bankroll. It doesn't matter how big it is, as long as you, you know, respect the ratios. So, okay, here, oh, three, three is over. So let's see the next outcome here. So I want to see this confirmation first on the beat road. Okay, well, this is mirror, mirror, mirror. Okay, so the next is mirror. And, but that's like, Okay, I don't like it because it's not on the N1. So this trigger doesn't fall on the N1. So basically, let's see what it does. Damn, nine times, eight. Ooh. Yeah, still is a banker. The mirror wins. The mirror wins. Okay, now if you see the, the ratio between wins and losses, the losses is marginally increasing more than the wins. So this is another red flag. When you see this, uh, again, you know, you've got to be aware of it so that uh, you, don't, you don't bet too much or you don't go crazy over betting. We are into the sick, but wow, that's too complicated. Too complicated. Again, uh, whenever you see this kind of spikes, you have to grind for a while again, okay? So it doesn't matter the time or whatever. Whenever you see a spike, you can't, you know, uh, put back a lot of, you know, large bets on the table. You need to really grind this out for a while. Again, that's the negative EV rules, if you guys remember. All right, so where are we? Where are we? Okay. So is there a trigger here? Uh, nope, but there's a tie here. Oh boy, so I think we're going to um, again have a pause and come back in about after about 10-15 minutes. I'm going to take a break and then continue the game. Okay, now should we have something here? So basically... This could be a player to complete the uh, the reversal on the three. Otherwise, there is a slope. Yep, there is. In this case, the next one is here is a player. Most likely, this is going to come down to the player. Yeah, because of the confirmation of the beat road and the completion of the pattern here on the threes. Yeah, we got it. Next is a banker and four. I don't like it, so I'm going to skip it.
Good. Okay. So the strategy is working. So that's a good confirmation. And there is a butterfly. That's a player here. It's kind of addicting with the butterfly pattern. So uh, I'm going to skip it again. I'd rather put pairs and ties instead. So, you know, I don't know who's going to win, the butterfly or the beetroot. The beetroot says player. The butterfly should complete the form of another two bankers. Yep, the butterfly is winning. So in this case, the next one is for sure a nice confirmation. This should give us a banker. I hope so. Nope, I think uh, this thing dipped here. Check for nine, yeah. Tricky one. So since the butterfly is broken, you have to go to the opposite of the, so he's a player. Usually this is a very good trigger. Wow, that's a $300 bet, I didn't realize that. Wow, five times, come on. Yes, we got it. Yes, yes. Wow. Oh, it's a tie. Unbelievable, oh my goodness. It's a tie, all right, okay. We can take that, all right. I think we are very close to uh, $5,000. Okay, so let's see if it's the uh, the player is going to come or not. Tie with the multiplier, amazing. No, it didn't come. <laughs> oh wow! I mean, that was luck, guys. That was extremely lucky. But again, I mean, as I told you, whenever there's a butterfly or butterfly gets broken, there's always ties and pairs. So that's something that you should keep in mind. Okay, butterfly patterns always is accompanied by uh, ties and pairs. So here we go. Ah, contradicting again. Player, banker. Let's see. Oop. Give us another tie, guys. Because the, uh, the there's a contradiction in the uh, the trigger. Here's his player. Here's his banker. Right, so the Vidrot wins. So here's his banker and banker. So this could be a good one. There is a confirmation uh, on the two. Uh, banker, fine. Let's take it. So I think this is going, if we don't win this, uh, we're going to stop it here. We have to do a smart exit. We can't continue. Let's hope we win this. I think we won this. No. The win. Oh, the tie again. Amazing, amazing, amazing. All right. Amazing. So, um, again, after the tie, I just hate it. Okay, so I'm going to go small bet.
Perfect. Okay. So now we're going to take a break for about uh, half an hour, and then we'll be back uh, after taking a break. See you guys soon. Hi guys, welcome back. <clears throat> uh, just had to grab uh, a dinner and, uh, and a coffee again so that we can uh, have a fresh start on a new shoe. So our bankroll is 4,806 right now, where we left off. And we're trying to push it up a little bit over $5,000 and then we're gonna stop the game. <clears throat> So let's do it uh, slowly. We don't, there's no need to rush or anything like that. We don't want you know to to have this negative EB at this level to catch up on us. Okay, so this is where we have to be careful because uh, we have to uh, acknowledge the fact that negative EV is present right now. Okay, so it could actually any time can take us down like a like a demon. So is this a N3 or not? That's the question. Nope, it's not N3. <clears throat> so we're just gonna wait for a while. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten outcomes. Actually, I don't. It's not a bad idea for me to stream this video. I tend to behave myself when I'm uh, betting alone. I tend to do some crazy stuff, to be honest. Um, so I like taking a video and showing to you guys what I did. It actually gives me a sense of responsibility in my uh, strategy gaming. Wow, <clears throat> Banker is dominant, that's for sure. And it is N4 plus. So it's going to be a bit volatile shoe, no doubt. So knowing that it's gonna be a volatile shoe, we have to minimize our bets, okay? I think you've been hearing this for a while, but this is, I'm trying to get this thing in your head. Uh, these are the elements of the strategy that you should consider when you are playing. <clears throat> All right. Um, I don't think this shoe carries a lot of multipliers, to be honest. I mean, look at this. It's pretty dead. Well, let's see uh, other players. Um, yeah, there is a tug of war between the players and the bankers. It's almost equal. I think they are expecting this thing to uh, shift to player any time. Oops. Actually, I don't like that table that much, to be honest. Um, 
there's no point of uh, playing on a multiplier table and there is no multiplier. I mean, I have a sense, I have a feeling that, you know, that, 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 that shoe at that time, uh, they're not going to have much multiplier running. All right, here we go. So it's better to play without a multiplier so that we can save on the commissions. Wow, too many fours. Disaster. All right, so here. Mm hmm. We can try this one. Yeah, there are many multipliers here. All right, so where's the trigger? Nothing. We are waiting for this outcome here. There's a tie here. So, and it is N2. Went to N3, N2, N3. All right, so, um, hmm. This is uh, one of those ongoing pattern kind of thing. I don't think it's a reliable N2 pattern shoe. Okay, undoing this a player, player, yeah. This could be a player. Because of this historical pattern. And there is a trigger here, so so let's let the game start. Oh, we got it. So the next is banker. All right, so tight. So, <clears throat> I just want to take a step back when there is a tie. Oh, we got it. 20 times. Amazing. <clears throat> so, um, again, we have to step back a bit. Maybe a pair here? Because there were two ties already. Nope. All right. So that was a banker indeed. So now let's just wait for the uh, for the next pattern to evolve. And the bead road is a player, but I like to see two factor confirmation. Right, there you go. It's not. All right, so that's a player indeed on the beat road. So the beat road says it's a player. It could well be a player because it coincides with the pattern. In that case, we will take it. Yeah. 
Yep, we got it. Oh, we got the pairs and the and the uh, player. That's great. Ninety six dollars. Wow, what's the bankroll now? Oh wow, four nine one two. So we are very close to five thousand dollars. So again, now it's supposed to be a banker and a banker. Let's skip this and see what happens. Right. So now it's supposed to be a majority player, four players here. So most likely a majority player. Two times. Yes, we got it. Great, $30, so it's 4930 So next, we don't have a trigger on the beat road, so we're going to wait. This is a real multiplier shoe. Small bet on the banker, just in case. No, we didn't get it. That's fine. Next is player. Let's get it, boys. Okay, give me a multiplier on this one. Oh, too many three times. All right, let's do it. Nope, we didn't get it. Ten, king, nine. Well... No problem. All right, so here now, we got to be careful on the beat road uh, trigger because it's, you know we might have to go for the anti strategy. So the trigger is a player. Let's see what happens. Ooh, wow, we could have gone, got, got that one. So now there's a three series on the banker and the trigger is a banker. All right, guys, so let's get this, let's get this. I'm going for it. Okay, so let's do it. Hopefully we get it. Ah, come on. Oh, how come? It went down. Six and... Hmm. Right. Okay, now there is a majority player. When there is a majority player, now there is a trigger on the beat road. I'm going to go to the opposite of this. It's not a player. I'm going to place it on the banker. So I'm just going anti-strategy now. It seems like the strategy is flipping. So let's see. Hmm. What happened? Did we get it? 
All right. Oh, no way. No way. Okay. That was the majority player. Hmm. So now I'm going to go for it. It is the majority player. Let's hope we get this. Oh, wow. Yes, baby. We got it, guys. We got it. We got it. So that's $5,200. That's it. All right, guys. That's it. We came to an end of this session. I know there was a little bit of um, hiccup towards the end, but we had to play it right, and we did. And that's it, folks. Um, that's our bankroll, $5,200. And I'll see you guys in our next videos. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, provide us with your comments. And, uh, you know, please join us as uh, gold members. And if you want to engage into coaching, we are ready to coach you on these strategies. Uh, Las Vegas is, they are losing money on Bakra because people are becoming more skilled in this game. So don't, you know, take this opportunity and develop your own skills in Bakra games. This is a real cash flow game. And uh, and cheers, guys. Uh, you guys have a good one. See you guys in our next videos.